We've been married 60 years as of December 26th. Well, just how grateful I am for the things that I've enjoyed in this life, uh, for my uh, for my love of Carolyn, my love of my family. One does not take one's life for granted, and one understands that you're standing very, very close uh, to losing one's mortality. He's awake? completely unresponsive. Okay, is he awake and unresponsive, or is he unconscious? We don't feel a pulse. I saw him slump, and um, he turned and just stared at me with a look that I've never seen before, and it scared me. He's not breathing, he's not okay, breathing. We are gonna start CPR, I need you to get him flat on his back on the ground. Uh, I knew immediately it was as bad as it could get. He was completely unresponsive, and when I got over to him and realized he was not breathing, I knew this was life and death right now. And Griffin started compressions. I need you to put one hand on the center of his chest, right between the nipples, and you're going to put your other hand on top of that hand, and we're going to push two inches deep, and we're going to go twice per second. I don't know how long I was doing it. It was only a couple of minutes, maybe, before Pat came in the door. I was off duty, sitting on the couch, feet up, um, eating some chocolate ice cream, and boom, it goes off. And then all of a sudden I heard like a beeping noise. I was like, told my friend I'd called him back and he just ran out the door and hopped in the truck and left. He doesn't usually like vault out like that. So I was like, what? Grab the phone, you get a look at it. It's, it's CPR's needed. And I realized it's only a few blocks away. Pulse Point verified first responder allows us to leverage the talent of our people while they're at home or while they're off duty. Uh, when an emergency arises, allows them to become first responders with their talents and bring those talents to somebody that is truly in crisis. You know, come through the door, I got my phone on my left hand, my, my AED in my right, and you know, fire department, and uh, they were just around the corner and off the work I went. He was right next to that, slapped on uh, the leads for the kit that he brought in, and uh, he took over from there and started doing compressions. I, I just remember being thankful that he came in. AED um, fired up, which is very quick, and analyzed. Um, it, it advised to give a shock. And so we were able to do that very, very quickly. By then, Station 11's already coming through the door. When, when we went in, we recognized uh, we had an individual giving CPR with, a, with an AED already hooked up to the patient immediately recognized it was Patrick Moore. Patrick is the type of a person that considers his profession as a passion and not necessarily a job. It's not a job to him and it's not a job to firefighters across this country. It's a passion. It's a passion that they want to see through. It's a passion that, that they bring home. We are pretty proud of him. We, we, I think sometimes we don't say it enough and we don't share it enough, we, we, um, but we are. We, the girls and I are extremely proud. It's important for him also to know that his girls understand and honor what he does. I think before we were kind of in the monotony of, oh yeah, dad saves lives, but no, no, oh gosh, he really saves lives. <laughs> he really, he saved a life because behind all those lives is a life. So grateful that he was available and was willing uh, to spend his time coming to the aid of someone who was in obvious distress and so deeply, deeply appreciated. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. To know that there's people out there who know what they're doing and are willing to come and, uh, and save your dad's life. It's very, very inspiring to see that. Yep. How are you feeling these days? I'm feeling pretty good. good, yeah. And you guys were there so fast, and we thank you so much for that. Just think of all of the people whose lives could be extended uh, because of the treatment that I received. It's just unlimited, and I would hope that this program that saved my life will uh, be available to other people as well.